keeping things attached to a moving vehicle, an RV in particular, can be really challenging. Sticking things to walls, tables, countertops, while a vehicle is in motion and then stopped is a real issue in an RV. Many of you have asked, how do I affix things to the walls and the counters in my Winnebago Travado? Today, we address that problem head on. Four products you'll want to know about and a bonus product at the end that may surprise you. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in today, really appreciate that. My name is Scott, I'm your host. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large, YouTube channel dedicated to the RV lifestyle, the Class B van RV lifestyle in particular. In 2017, pretty frustrated with my status quo life, corporate commute, corporate job, big house, full of stuff, didn't really care about a whole lot. 2018, completely reinvented that. And since 2019, February, I have been full-time living in my Winnebago Travado 59GL, loving every minute of it. What we do here is we learn together, we share together, you decide what's the best way for you to RV, whether you're researching some time in an RV, uh, full-time like me, we can all learn from each other, and that's what we do here. You decide what's best for you. My first question for you is where on earth are you watching from? We have a lot of folks watching uh, this channel from uh, international destinations, Pakistan being the most recent one that it was brought to my attention. That is so cool. I'm currently in Florida. This is being recorded uh, early February, 2021. Endless summer in Florida, while the country's in really wintry weather. Not so much here. We're being basked in sunlight and bird noises. Pretty cool. Let's jump inside and take a look at these uh, product number one. All right, welcome inside my home. Welcome inside of Lily is the name of my van. So the first product we, we want to talk about is this. What is this? This is mounting putty. Um, this is a miracle product. Let me show you how this works. Okay, let's, let's say you found this really cool uh, souvenir, uh, a uh, iron war soldier guy, and you want it to take him in your van or your RV because it's cool and it's small, but if you just put him here, it's gonna slide at the first little bit. So what you do is you get this putty tape and just cut it, cut it with scissors. It doesn't take much in most cases. And it's pliable, it's soft, you can stick and re-stick it. In this case, let's put a bead about the size of a pea if you had squished it. <laughs> See that? And then um, I put it right here, kind of in the place you want. And don't be frightened because you can, again, put this down, just give it some firm pressure. Like that. And now he stays. And if you don't like the way he looks there, you can pull this off and redo it again. Maybe you think it looks better over here and you do it again. And it really is extremely firm in the sense that it holds. It won't move on acceleration, on braking or otherwise. And mounting putty has been used for this. This is a horn, like a trumpet mouthpiece. You can see the bottom here. I putty taped that to the uh, to the table, and this holds a couple of cool pictures from Lukenbach, Texas. This piece right here, also putty taped. My garden, while it floats, it sits in the saucer, so, and this has been mounting putty taped to the table, and then my garden sits in there like that. This is just using friction, and it's kind of a sticky um, back, so that, that's okay. And my mariachi band is using the same uh, sticky putty here. So the same goes for the elements on the walls. These are all using the same uh, sticky putty um, in on a vertical surface that uh, they stay in place. And you can see I've got a lot of them, right? Every one of these is a memory in my travels. Here's a word of caution though. I put the product right here for you so you can take a look at this. You can actually get this on my Get Your Gear store uh, on my website through Amazon. That would help support the channel, that'd be awesome. And uh, there is a brand here that I'll put that I would not recommend getting. This is kind of a beige neutral color, so it kind of hides and it doesn't leave any marks. Whereas another brand, um, it's blue and it leaves marks um, that's kind of hard to get off and is unsightly. And they're unsightly because the blue kind of oozes out. If that was the cream color, this would not be nearly uh, as unsightly. 
that's product number one is this mounting putty and um, I use a lot of it if you need more to hold more heavier objects um, then uh, you just add more um, it's pliable you can reuse it actually um, I do that quite a bit here's a piece that just came off the uh, the guy and I just uh, the soldier and I stick it on there and then use it for for next time it's pretty cool my latest um, using of this product is right up here let me show you that so what you're looking at here is a 3d print of the moon and it lights up at night i'm trying to figure out the wiring here that's why uh just experimenting i'm going to spray paint this black and what this is again if you look closely oops it's mounting putty here and the mounting putty on the dash and it stays just firm enough that it doesn't move when i'm in motion and i can remove it in case this charging system doesn't work. So product number two is, V stands for Velcro. Yes, good old fashioned Velcro. Um, this is actually Velcro brand. Um, I found that this pretty much works the best and I use it for really heavy duty applications. I mean, this is, right? This is pretty tough to get apart and that's kind of the point. And the sticky side is really sticky. Um, it does come off but it takes some effort, which is the whole point. And I use this product on heavy objects or objects that get jostled a lot, like my garbage can, has been Velcroed in five places. Again, you just use your scissors and you cut the amount that you need, and then you just um, separate the, uh, you know, the glue backing, and you stick it in place. I just give a really firm shake and push until it, it adheres to the product and to the surface. And uh, my garbage can hasn't moved in quite a number of months. I've also used this on my toilet bowl cleaner brush that sticks in my, uh, in my bathroom. And I actually fill that about a third full with Windex so it stays clean. And so there's liquid in there so it's heavy. And I was using something different than this product, um, a different brand of Velcro. And because it gets wet from a showering, it failed a couple of different times. So I went to the real deal Velcro and um, this has worked out magic and I've had no issues since um, using this product here. So I wouldn't say it's water resistant, um, but it is, has not failed having been in the shower many times over the last few months. So Velcro is gonna be your best friend, I think for heavy items, certainly on the floor. Um, I found that to be my best experience. Product number three is every RVer's best friend and that is, yes command hooks command hooks are amazing you know how these work you probably got a few of these in your house already the great thing is they come in varying sizes and varying uh amounts of weight that they will hold and kind of in undecorative plain jane um finishes or this kind of more fancy one here right so this is what i use for uh, my coat and again you know how these work you um put the sticky side on the the fastener and then on the on the on the surface and you hold it tight then you put your thing on here let it just kind of chill for a, a minute or two then you put your um put your uh, whatever you're hanging here but i use them for you know, my facial coverings keys that i use them a lot in this rig and what i do is if i want to camouflage this i do this i take it out and i spray paint it in this case flat black and then i adhere it um, to you know put this on and then um, spray paint this part, say, and then I uh, put the um, put the hook on the, the fastener and it works really well. My recommendation is to get the multi-pack of varying sizes um, because you're gonna find that these uh, become a super handy and they sometimes break. I use these for my uh, hoses and my, my um, electrical cords using a Velcro strap and they do break after some time I've found. Um, so having a pack of these in your RV is probably a great idea. Hey, if you're getting anything out of this, I sure would appreciate a thumb up. Um, anything new here? Maybe? <laughs> Comment below. What do you use at home? I'm curious about that. Um, and if you're an RVer or somebody that has used these products, what kind of usage, use cases have you noticed that were really handy? Uh, subscribe to the channel. If you're into vans, if you're into RVs, if you're into uh, van life, places, people, travel, um, be an honor to have you part of the success of our channel. Product number four. Product number four is a screw. <laughs> um, I use these very sparingly when I have to hold something heavy to a wall. Um, I've used it three times now in my RV. 
Once here in my library, I have it screwed to the underside of the bed, as you can see. Um, I've screwed my deer head to the wall. Here's the caution on screws. Number one, they leave holes. Not awesome. Um, and because these RV walls are thin material, certainly the bathroom wall circumstance, and or there's a lot of wiring behind these walls, I'd be super, super cautious about putting a screw or a hole through or into something unless you know what is behind the wall. And it, like on the bathroom wall, for example, making sure it doesn't penetrate through because it will create a hole in your shower, which is not awesome. Probably separating the two pieces, right? So be cautious about that. All right, and here's my bonus tip for you. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of an organizer and I like to have these things, my projects for the week, front and center, personal stuff up here, got channel metrics. Um, and if I stick these up with a traditional post-it note, you guys know how post-it notes work, right? What happens is it doesn't stick. Certainly if there's some wind, and with a little bit of time, they just fall off. So here's my bonus tip for you. If you like to use post-it notes, is to use um, double-sided tape, and I just get a little bit of a bead, you know, an inch or two, put it where the sticky tacky part is on the, on the sticky note, and then this goes up here like that, and that bad boy is adhered in a really firm fashion. And this allows wind and what have you to jostle these things around and they stay in place. You can still move them around, which is cool, right? Like that. So if you're kind of doing a Kanban board, which is, you know, um, rows of cards, some of you may know what that's about. You can move these along. But uh, that's my tip for you there that I learned the hard way is to use double-sided uh, sticky tape. Again, get the good brand. Um, I found the, the cheap stuff just doesn't work, falls apart. Um, so get the good stuff. Word of caution though, be careful where you put this because sometimes it's hard to get off. If these two separate and the sticky tape stays to the surface, um, it can be hard to remove. So just a little word of caution there. I found that this plastic surface here, metal would be fine. Um, even the wood, but some of the, like the glass and, and the plastic, I would not put it on that because it'd be super tough to remove. And um, just a word of caution there for you. But I love this. Clearly, I've got a lot going on, and I love how this solution really fits the bill there. And one other point on the index cards, you can see where the channel metrics are. Um, I use uh, this double-sided tape for the, the same purpose, right? I just put a little bit on there. I probably put it on twice, like that. Uh, maybe even one down the middle, just so it doesn't buckle, right? You see that? And then that goes, we'll demonstrate right here, and that goes just like that, and it stays in place. And uh, again, I can move it around and it fits in crevices. It's really, really great. And um, you can take it off really easily. So um, this has actually been a pretty good tool. I use a lot. Um, every week when I'm sitting down and planning my week, uh, this is how I do it and what I use. Luke's joining us now. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I liked making it for you. There's been a lot of questions about this and clearly I like to personalize my space. This is my house, literally. And uh, whoops, and I just wanted to share this with you. So many questions. Uh, again, the products we covered, mounting putty tape, this is really a must-have. Heavy-duty Velcro, this too is a must-have. Command hooks, get a couple different sizes and use those where appropriate. And screws, where appropriate, use sparingly. Um, and then double-sided tape was our bonus tip for you on how to adhere things to surfaces so they don't move around while you are moving around. Again, thumb up if you got anything out of this, comment below. Did I miss anything? What are you using? What do you want to put on your walls? Where are you watching from? And subscribe to the channel, that would be great. Have you part of our success here at Go Small Live Large. These products again are on my uh, website, uh, gosmalllivelarge.com, uh, the store right here, and you can see that. Luke's gone away, I guess he's not interested in things to make things stick. Um, it'd be an honor to have you uh, purchase those things through our store. Here we learn, we share, you decide what's best for you. Until we see you soon, I wish you to journey on.